Greetings, hi, hello, welcome to another day of Vlogtober. Today I'm going to bring you along for my work day. It is 8.55, I have been taking a slower morning. I got back from yoga and I just scrolled on YouTube shorts for 20 minutes, which made me feel just terrible. Um, Cause I knew I was like wasting time, but I still couldn't stop. And like, I knew it was a way to cope. I'm feeling a little bit anxious today. Um, which doesn't happen very often. I'm not normally a high anxiety person, but I do have a committee meeting today. In case you are newish here or unfamiliar, um, I'm a PhD student. And so I have a committee basically uh, that consists of my advisor and three other professors. And they are the ones that I report to and kind of share my ideas with, bounce ideas off of. And they are the people who, they don't, directly guide my research, but they are the ones who test me on my research. So when I got my master's, I presented this thesis essentially, and they grilled me afterwards on aspects of it and moving forward into the next experiments of my PhD. And now I'm having a committee meeting with them today. I haven't seen them since November, like as a group since November when I did my master's defense in my com slash comprehensive exam. Um, but I'm meeting with them today to talk about my final experiments of my PhD and finishing my PhD and writing my dissertation and what my timeline is hopefully going to look like. I am so distracted by my bangs. I'm so sorry. They desperately need to be trimmed, but I, I like the way that they look in the center, but I just keep flicking them to the sides like this because they're so long. Anyway, I'm meeting with them to propose these experiments and talk about accelerating my timeline to finishing I'm proposing defending um, maybe in August or September of 2025, which is um, two, like two academic semesters faster than I had kind of originally anticipated based on our last meeting. Um, and I'm also telling them that I don't want to, nor will do, nor have the time or the capacity to do quite a few experiments that I had proposed during my comprehensive exam and they're ones that we all kind of agreed were a little far-fetched and maybe not the most likely to get done but they were possible if I had gotten the funding for them but I submitted four proposals over the course of my entire PhD and it never got funded so it's just not feasible anymore and so I'm basically telling them that I'm not going to do that research and hopefully they're okay with it. My advisor is okay with it, which I think is the thing that matters most because ultimately he has the biggest say, I think. Um, but yeah, I'm just a little bit nervous about it because this could be my last committee meeting before I do my defense. I'd imagine I'll do another one, but I don't know. I'm just kind of curious to see what everyone's going to say. And so I'm a little bit anxious about it. That is at 3 p.m. today. Like I said, it's almost nine. Um, so what I want to do when I get to campus is run through my slides a couple more times, make sure everything looks good um, and is in the order that I want. All the information is there. Yeah, I'm just feeling a little bit anxious. So we'll see what I get done today. I know I need to clean that reactor because I have stuff in it from Friday's experiment that I talked about in Vlogtober where I spilled water all over myself and run through some slides, maybe work on some writing, some data analysis, data entry. I would like to maybe get on an image analysis, com analysis computer to have some images for my meeting, but the microscopist has not answered my email about which computer I should use, so I just don't know. It's gonna be a day. It's gonna be a day. Tomorrow's gonna be a day. The next day's gonna be a day. It's just a week full of days. <laughs> Imagine that. So anyway, I am going to get my stuff together and we will head to campus. Got this song up inside of me in a world I don't want to say. Just the same damn thing. What's your high? What's your age? What's the price of your way? And every year we're expected to show all the things that we were able to grow. When you're making half the money, but the cost is double. Quiet life of desperation, but it ain't gonna be too much longer. Been working too hard for this shit to now pass, so we about to get it popping now. Quiet life of desperation. I'm gonna have to live a little louder. No, I ain't gonna end up like the man trying to figure out the man who got. 
to figure it out just buy me a new condo so I just spent quite a while. What time is it? It's 10.30, so I don't know, an hour and 15 minutes or so going through my slides for my committee meeting. And then I spent maybe 15 minutes or so working on my slides for my lecture tomorrow. I've given this lecture like six times or so, and I'm just not gonna change it up that much because I don't really have time to mostly. Um, I'm obviously down in the lab. I need to get the reactor ready for my meeting. So I need to, first of all, I'll turn off this pump. Unclamp it. And it may or may not drain out of there at all. No, okay. Um, and I need to transfer it to the sink to drain it. All right, so it is fully drained. So what I'm going to do now is take out, these are on here so tight, one of these coupons just so I can get some plain water in there, not food dye water, and just give it a good rinse because like you can see, um, there's some food dye remaining in there. I should actually just take the whole thing apart and not do it from here. So never mind. Let me just put these right back on. I'm so proud of myself for being able to do this left-handed with one hand. Like, wow. I say as I jinx myself and can't get this threaded on here with my left hand. Uh, never mind, it's taking the whole post out. Okay, this is a problem I have repeatedly had with this.
All right, I just got into the conference room where I'm having my meeting. Here we be. I'm going to, first of all, return this key to the office, main office, and then work on getting my presentation up on this computer. Um, I have the conference room booked from three to four. It is 2.51 right now. Technically, I don't think my meeting is actually gonna start till 3.10 because of the academic schedule, but if everyone gets here before then, we'll just go ahead and start. So I have like, at most, probably seven minutes before people start showing up. So I'm gonna skedaddle. I'm feeling a little bit less nervous, I guess, maybe. I don't know. It is good. It's gonna be, I know it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. I'm just overthinking it. Um, and I have spent a lot of today, this afternoon at least, working on incorporating edits for the literature review that I'm doing. I finally got edits back from all of the co-authors and there's just quite a bit of things to incorporate and consider and new things that have been brought up to consider and like I just see the scope of this literature review like ever expanding and so I, it feels bad but I have to start saying like no we're not going to talk about this no that's outside of the scope and just like bringing it back in it's already like 32 pages <laughs> so that's why I'm like yeah no we can't be bringing in additional topics Okay, I am leaving my committee meeting now. Holy shit, that went so well. <laughs> and two members of my committee were basically like, I hate them. <laughs> two members of my committee were basically like, yeah, I think you can absolutely finish by May. Like, I don't know why you're talking about a timeline in the fall. I think you could be done by May. You clearly have like, you've done so much. You have so much data all of these things, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh my God, yeah, I guess you're right. <laughs> I have this idea that like everything has to be done and tied up with like the neatest little bow and like have perfect data and like not have any remaining questions. Obviously there's gonna be remaining questions, but not have any big remaining questions. And that's just like simply not true. That's not how grad school works. That's not how PhDs work. And I've done so much and what I'm doing is like so not ever been done before that it's like, Obviously those things are still gonna exist. So the meeting went really well. Everyone's like super on board with a lot of the decisions I've made, the results that I've gotten. And uh, yeah, it just went really well. My advisor and I chatted for a little bit after and he was like, so how do you feel about May? I was like, well, I genuinely just don't know if it's possible because I haven't started these final experiments. He was like, yeah, that's kind of my thought too. But currently with our discussions, oh, cool. We're thinking August at the absolute latest. Look at, they're drying what looks like a bison pelt and all the magpies are feeding on it. This is so cool. That's awesome. Hello, I am home. It is, I almost said 1045, I have a timer on the microwave. It is 6.04, I am uploading, oh, it's done uploading, so I can close that. I finished editing and uploading the Blogtober for tomorrow, AKA yesterday for you. And I have Married at First Sight pulled up on Hulu on my iPad. I totally forgot about that show and I was watching a vlog and someone mentioned it and I was like, oh my gosh, I should totally watch that. So I've got Married at First Sight going on the iPad. I've got the world's largest quantity of waffle batter for the waffle iron. The hash browns are hydrating. I've got some bacon pulled out for Matt. I figure I'll cook maybe half of it, I don't know. Got a bunch of eggs all beaten and ready. And I've got my pans on the, on the stove. So this one will be for hash browns, this one will be for eggs, and this one will be for bacon. And I've got about 10 minutes until the hash browns are done hydrating. And I'm gonna be trying my best to do all of this at the same time, potentially by myself, because Matt is not home yet. <laughs> and then gotta leave for trivia. Hopefully leaving for trivia by 6.45, 6.50, maybe more like 6.50. Um, it's my friend's last night as a trivia host at the Bacchus, so it is our last time going to trivia at the Bacchus. We might again at some point, but the reason we go so religiously is because she's the host. So hopefully we do better tonight than we did last week because we did terrible last week. It is so dark out, but I am on my way to trivia. It's about 6.50 right now. Apparently it's packed in there. So hopefully there's enough space for us all. And apparently we're doing cake after. 
to celebrate her last day as trivia host. Um, making that dinner was about as chaotic as you would expect for it to be, to be making waffles, eggs, hash browns, and bacon all at the same time. That was so hectic. <laughs> but I got it all cooked. It's all kind of packed up so Matt can grab what he wants for dinner, leave what he wants for lunch. I also realized I don't need lunch for tomorrow because I'm going to be fed by TechLink, which is sweet. So there's like Pekka leftovers for Matt, which is good because he's a hungry man. We did terribly, terribly at trivia. Um, I guess the first game we lost by not that much. Well, not lost. We just didn't win by not that much. Um, the big loser question there was how many voting, how many votes there are in the House of Representatives. And there's 435. There are some representatives who don't get to vote. They're just there. And me and my friend were arguing back and forth on it. And finally, I was just like, fine, write down whatever you want. And it was not the right answer. And then in the second round that we did, really, really not good on, um, we got the year that Call Me Maybe by Carly Rae Jepsen and Django Unchained by Quentin Tarantino, the movie, came out. I said 2012, everyone else said 2011, and then right before turning it in, someone else was like, no, I think it's 2012, but we stuck with 2011, and the answer was 2012. So those were our two flop questions of the evening. Um, and then we had cake after, and it was very fun. And it's like 9.20, so I am walking home and going to brush my teeth, get in bed, and fall asleep. Because tomorrow's going to be a long, hectic day, I think, with going back and forth between TechLink meetings, teaching a lecture, TechLink meetings. Ah, so I will see you tomorrow for that.